So to start out the knife, I knew I was gonna make it from probably a saw blade. Basically, I wanted the shape of the tie to look something like this. Um, you can see it's sort of a dagger with that tie-shaped handle, and I hope it won't be too uncomfortable. thing is I have to put a bevel on it because I actually do want it to be like a real knife even though it's just like a concept. Okay so I made a new tool. It is a file jig. Basically it's used to get even angles whenever you are beveling a knife. Uh, I have not used it for a knife this big yet so what I'm probably gonna have to do is do the flat portion and then do the tip separately and I'll see how that goes. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I also took the time to scrape off all the paint from the blade, and you can see how the bevel looks pretty good there. Pretty even. So next I gotta do the handle. Now that I got the handles all cut out and shaped, all I have to do is paint them real quick. I'm just gonna spray paint it. These are mainly just for the look of it. Then I glued the two handle scales on and left it to dry overnight. And now I can actually start working on the part where I incorporate it into the tie. And I know I'm gonna need to make a sheath, so I'm gonna do that and then explain sort of how it's gonna work with the tie. Basically, the sheath goes in the tie, and then the knife would go in the sheath. But I need to make sure that it won't fall out from the tie, because it is just held in there by friction right now. So here's how I'm going to do that. Okay, my plan is pretty simple. Just use these snaps. You see them on like shirts or jackets. Um, it'll just hold the two pieces together. But I can also take the sheath out if I don't want uh, a knife in my tie. So. There it is. You can see it basically just looks like a tie. Um, pretty inconspicuous, pretty normal looking. Um, but then I can just pull out the knife. So now I guess I'm just gonna do some testing just for fun. Okay, so I'm having to re-record this because I just hit 500 subscribers, so thank you all for that. And also thank this guy for letting me use his music. It's the music that's playing right now, so if you like it, go check him out. Also, if you wanna see another video like this, I have the video where I made a cane that turns into a pair of nunchucks, so check that out, and that's about it. <laughs>